Hey guys, it's John here, and welcome back inside the Vintage Geeks Toy Room. Uh-oh. Is he going to go active? No. Thanks a lot for clicking on my latest video. Really appreciate it. Thanks for hitting that subscribe button. Helps a lot. He's interrupting all the time. See, that's one problem with him. He just interrupts you all the time. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, are you done? No, not done. Weirdo. All right, we're going to look at Baby Yoda, the child from The Mandalorian. This is the animatronic edition, and it's got 25, oh, they say, 25 sound and movement combinations. I don't believe it. Touch head. Got like this little thing on the box there. He's bolted in with these like bolts on the bottom of the box when you get it new. Back of the packaging so it shows you activating force move. Lay down for a nap. 25 plus sound movement combinations. And look, doesn't that look metal even on the back of the box? Crazy. Mandalorian the child and he's got all this movement stuff and that side's basically the same uh, boom, He fell out barcode for those of you who want it and he's out of the box. Look at that Ugh. Yeah, cuz this is the second time I'm reviewing him Cuz the first time I got so upset I was swearing my head off <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to have my video get flagged, so I'm re-recording it. And uh, about a week later, it took me about a week to sort of calm down and get back in the mood of uh, doing a review for this guy. Because on one hand, he's fine. On the other hand, he's not at all what they advertised to us. Like... Guys, I got a big problem with this figure because when they showed him on the CNET thing and CNN and all that, they showed him off as being the greatest, like, Baby Yoda thing that you're going to get your hands on. And nothing compares to him. And they had this, they pointed out this really cool necklace that was made of metal and it was like it was like a pewter and it was all shiny and chrome and what we ended up getting was a bendable flexi plastic piece of crap and it is not what they advertised us and what we got in this doll is basically the same doll that you can buy for $20 but with a little bit of animatronics in the head to make it wobble and the ears and, and this hand can go up. Otherwise, it's the exact same. You take the electronics out and this is the exact same doll that you can buy for $20 right next to it in the same kind of package. You know, the same box even, you know. <laughs> it's like I'm, I'm completely floored that they have the gall to charge $50 to $60 for this thing. It's... It's absolutely unbelievable that they get away with this crap. And then uh, once you have it, you're like, because I ordered it. I ordered it online. I pre-ordered it so I would get it in the mail. And thinking I was going to get this grand, awesome thing. And plus, look at the size of him. He's not even as tall as a six-inch action figure. I mean, I guess he is as tall as a, a six-inch action figure. But it's like, why... Why is he so small, too? I mean, like, shouldn't he be kind of life-size in a sense, you know? Like, that's not even going to come up to the, my ankle. You know what I mean? Like, he's he's taller than your your ankle in the in the show, you know? I, I think he should be, like, you know, almost twice as tall, probably about that tall, to be a real thing. And, and then he would have been, then I think he would have been worth the money. And, uh, and that's my biggest, those are my biggest gripes. I, I don't think he's worth the money in the, at the state that he's in. And this should have been metal. We, 
and I've talked, it's not just me. We had it, we were talking on the Pala Boys, and we were talking, I was talking online with other people on Twitter, and 90% of the people thought this was metal, thought this was going to be pewter of some kind, some kind of metal with chrome on it, vac metalized, something. And because they were like, it was shiny, it was metal, you know, in all the pictures. And we ended up with this instead. And it's clearly not the same product that they showed us in those images. And I've got a couple images here to look at. It just looks to me and to everyone else like they advertised a metal pendant. It looks metal, shiny. And what we got is dull and plastic. I don't know. I don't know. All right, but enough of the rant, I guess, over. Let's take a look at what he does. Let's look at him real quick. He does have some pretty good detailing. His eyes especially. I don't know if you can see the glint in the eyes where there's like another color. There's two colors in there. So it's kind of neat. The ears, little hairs on his head. His outfit is standard. It's the same outfit that the other plush toys and various things have on. I swear it's the exact same one as some of the other ones that are out there. <laughs> from the back he's just I got the necklace on him so this little bead is hanging out back here um underneath he's just plastic oh he's going he's... What, what did we put him to sleep or something <laughs> I think we did <laughs> Hey, wake up, little guy. There you go. And yeah, that's how you activate him, by the way, is you bonk him in the head. So, and I don't think he does 25 phrases. To me, he seems to do those combination of things, and then he laughs and goes to sleep. That's it. Oh, there's the laugh. And, and I'm not sure. I mean, they say he's supposed to interact with your voice and sounds, but I've had him on in front of the television... And he doesn't interact with the television noises. Um, so, so, But sometimes when we're talking, he does what he did right there. And what he did... And what he did in the beginning and right there where he interrupts you with some kind of laugh or giggle or something. So I feel like he can hear you sometimes, but it doesn't work all the time. And the patting on the head... See, oh, I thought he was going to do the force thing again. So that's basically all he really does. I mean, he just does those same things over and over and over again. And... <laughs> and, and I mean, he does look cute. When he moves, it is cool. His, his way his ears move, his eyes. See, he knows we said something good about him. 
you know, it is, it is cute. It is working. And I'm not saying it's a bad product. I'm saying it's not a, see, he doesn't want me to finish. It's not a 50 or $60 product. It's a 20 or $30 product, especially now that you know you get this chintzy little necklace. I mean, if the necklace was made out of pewter or metal, that would have been 15 to $20 of the value right there, which would be like, oh, that's why it's a $50 toy, you know, because you're getting this really nice quality necklace with it. But, you know, something that you personally would want to wear you know, not leave it on him. But now that I know what it is, I don't want to wear that around. It looks terrible. <laughs> if it was made out of pewter or some kind of metal, I might actually wear it around as a necklace, you know? And that's what I thought we were getting was something we could wear around as well as this fancy doll. But, um, no. So, I mean, overall, my thing is like, if you see this out while you're out and about, mark down between $20 and $30. I say go ahead and grab it. You're going to love it at that price point. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to have fun with it. You know what you're getting now. But if you, I mean, I don't, I just don't, I just don't agree with paying 50 to 60 bucks for it. That's my big hype gripe on it is this is not a 50 to $60 toy. This is not what they advertised us in, uh, in, I feel like I had some kind of bait and switch pulled on me or something, you know, like <laughs> it's just, it's just so, uh, it's frustrating a little bit, you know? And, uh, yeah. Oh, well, it is what it is, right guys? It is what it is. It's like hyper real Luke Skywalker <laughs> all over again. <laughs> I guess you just shouldn't buy expensive things from Hasbro. <laughs> you know, like keep the when you go when you're going for stuff that's twelve to twenty dollars, you know what you're getting. But once you start getting into that expensive range, you know, you you, you you might end up with something that just doesn't really match the it doesn't have the quality or the you know I don't know. It doesn't match the price point, whatever I'm trying to say. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. This guy's really cool, isn't he? And, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you guys later. I appreciate you checking out the child with me. Baby Yoda, get in my belly. <laughs> get in my belly, baby Yoda. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I'm John. I'm out of here. I hope this is helpful. I hope that you get something out of this more than just me ranting about, you know, price points and blah, blah, blah. Because he is a decent figure, but he's decent at a lower price. Yeah, whatever. Okay, you you know what I'm talking about. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.